Hello world, Kodak here from Alexins and today I will demonstrate you the Pico Trigger module. It's a 4 trigger and clock generator with a web based pattern designer and 8 pattern memory, polyrhythms and shuffle. And now let's see it in action. To program patterns to module, open the Pico Programmer web interface on any device that have audio interface and browser which supports HTML5 protocol. You will find the pattern designer link in the video description. On module, switch the clock setting to the in position. After that, connect your device's audio out to the clock part of the Pico Trigger module. And then press and hold the encoder until it lights up in red. Play button lets you preview your patterns straight in the browser. Trigger number 1 is set to bass drum, trigger number 2 to snare drum, 3 to a percussion and 4 to a sound of a hi-hat. To upload a pattern, you just need to click the upload button, and if the module encoder lights up in green, that means that the pattern have been successfully uploaded. Now I will make a few other variations of this pattern and upload them to slots number 2, 3 and 4. Always make sure that the green LED on the module lights up. If it doesn't, try to increase the audio output volume on the device you are using. Great thing about the Pico Trigger module is that you can set individual lengths to each track and make polyrhythmic patterns. To do so, you need to click on the number on the left side of the track. I will now make different variations of polyrhythms and upload them to slots from 5 to 8. One more thing is that the BPM is set individually for each pattern. For example, I will set the last pattern's BPM to 160. To exit programming mode, just click the encoder once and remove the audio cable. Patterns can be easily uploaded with the mobile device, the same way as with the computer. But there's one thing to keep in mind. Do not connect any device to the module while the clock part is set to out setting, as that might damage your device. To switch between patterns, click the load button on the module, and by rotating encoder, choose pattern. To load it, push the encoder. First 4 patterns are indicated by trigger 1 to trigger 4 LEDs, and patterns 5 to 8 are indicated by the same LEDs just blinking. Here's the pattern I made on my phone. You can replace any of 8 patterns at any time, and you don't need to flash them all at once. And now I loaded the last pattern, which had the BPM setting of 160. To change the BPM, just rotate the encoder clockwise or counterclockwise. The BPM range of the module is from 20 to 420 BPM. The blinking green LED indicates the current BPM.
to add shuffle, press the encoder until it lights up in yellow and then add shuffle by turning it clockwise. The clock part can work as a clock out or clock input for the module. When in out mode, you can for example use it to run a sequencer, and the cool thing is that the shuffle also applies to the clock output. When the switch is set to in position, the clock jack works as external clock input. The shuffle can be also applied to triggers when you are running it with an external clock. Now I'm using sample and hold signal from the black LF4 to run the trigger module. By running polyrhythmic patterns with random clock source, you can use Pico Trigger as an endless random pattern generator. Here is example how by using polyrhythmic triggers you can make some really interesting and non-repeating trigger sequences. Pico Trigger can be also used to trigger almost any event in your modular system, and not only the drums. Like in this patch, I'm using it to trigger the envelope and also using it as a sound source for the VCA3 in self-oscillation mode. That's it for today. Have fun.